precious stuff of God. That, that sister, pains. You always feel pains in your stomach. Huh? I can't hear you. Yes. And what is the cause? I, d I don't know. I touch that stomach in Jesus' name. The plan of the enemy is cancelled. My name is Elibuan Tangen, originally from uh, Louis Trichard. And today the man of God located you. Can you tell us the prophecy he gave to you and also confirm it? Yeah, it is true because I normally feel some pain. I thought maybe I've got some ulcers. Yes. And for how long has this been? Uh, have you been experiencing these pains? Um, I think it got four years now. Yeah, experiencing that, uh, that painful pain actually. Yeah, it comes and goes. Yes. And when it will come, how would you feel? Uh, it, 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 will like, it, it will feel like uh, period pains, but it's not period pains. Yes, that's why I'm saying I, I, I thought maybe it was some ulcers or something. Hey, I, did, I could not understand the pain. Hmm. And were you praying that God should uh, intervene in this problem that was just coming and going when it wants? Yes. And today when the man of God located you, how did you feel? You know, I feel healed and then I feel blessed because I've been praying that uh, man of God, one day you will allocate me for this kind of problem. Mm. And now how are you feeling? Uh, nothing, no pain, no nothing anymore. Yeah. And what is it that you believe God will do for you now on? Sorry? What is it that you believe God will do for you as you have received your deliverance? Yo, I, I believe that more favors are coming. Yes. Amen. There's a land that God wants to give you. Land. Amen. You, you are searching for a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are searching for a land. Eh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So in that land, you will do a, you will do what? A petrol what? A filling station. A petrol. Yeah, filling station. Yes. Let me touch your chest. It will happen in Jesus' name. Yeah, my name is Kumbaro Mutawine. Uh, I'm from Pretoria originally. I'm from Venda. Uh, I just want to confirm the issue of land for me to establish um, a filling station. I've been I've been looking for a right land where environmentalists and uh, traffic counters can uh, make their studies to fulfill the, uh, the the establishment of my filling station. I've been not getting a right land to do that and some land some lands are very much expensive uh, to buy so if I buy a land I will be having less money to establish the filling station so from the prophecy that I received today I believe that uh, with all my heart I believe with all my heart that uh, God will pave the ways for me to get that filling station uh, because uh, once the prophecy is out, uh, nothing will stop it. You are struggling a lot. Yeah, thank huh? you. Yes. And your spirit is very down. Yeah, it's true. Huh? It's true. Sometimes you wish, uh, in your mind, you wish to go home. Yes, yes. Huh? It's, yeah, it's true, sir. And uh, don't go home. Your life is here. Yeah. Progress will come here. Thank you. Sir. You understand? Thank you. Yeah. Go give you a job. Thank you. You understand? You are free. Can you just stand up there? This one? Did you buy a car, that brother? Did you buy a car? Because you are about to dedicate a car here. Amen. You understand? Amen. Go on to give you a car. Amen. And uh, this car will really. <laughs> So you don't want him to have a car? Yes. Alright. No. permanent, permanent. Yes, yes. It is for the glory of God. It is for the glory of God. This, 
There's a car that is coming. There's a job that is coming. In Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Lucas Mkhalaka from Tanin Records. So, Amen. Uh, are you having a chat? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Are you having a small child? Yeah. Huh? Yes. We need to pray for that child, huh? Okay. Are you hear me? Yes. We need to pray for that child because there's something that God gave that child. Amen. Are you hear me? Amen. Because normally I'm just seeing attacks that the devil is trying to bring to this child. But I want to tell you, whatever that devil is trying to do, it will never happen. Amen. Are you me? Amen. It won't happen. Lift your hands. Do you know why I'm praying for this? No. No? No. Jesus name. You're free. I want to pray for you. There's a sickness in your body. Are you hear me? Come here. I want to pray for you. Yes. Are you hear me? Yes. But we need to pray for your health. Okay. Are you hear me? Because it's like this thing it will give you problems in the future. Okay. There's something here in the stomach here. Um Last year, the doctor once said I had ulcers in my stomach. My sister, I don't know you. Huh? I'm telling you, I'm saying there's something in, it, in the stomach. It's growing. Oh. Are you hearing me? So this thing, it will end up giving you problems in the future. Okay. It's an attack. The doctor is telling you it's an ulcer, but I'm seeing an attack. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. But God will heal you today. <laughs> My name is Elaine Maloleke. I come from Madrid. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Um, the prophecy that I received today is that the man of God said that he sees sickness in my stomach. He sees something that will affect me in the future. Then I told him of what I know, which was that the doctor last year um, diagnosed me with ulcers so he says no it's something that was going to affect me in the future so I received the prophecy and I thank God that he the man of God was able to detect it before it could even manifest so I believe that I'm free thank you and how was this pain affecting you um, most of the times if I was hungry if I can be hungry, I would feel pain in my stomach. And then also if, and once the pain starts, I couldn't stand up straight. I, I, I would always have to like bend forward to try and compress it. So, yeah. And since the doctors told you that you have ulcer, did they give you something for it? Yes, there was medication that I received from the doctors. And then I took it for, I think the first three days then I prayed. I prayed to God and I asked my family also to pray with me. And then I just believed by faith that I'm healed from ulcers and I stopped taking the medication. And when the man of God located you and told you that this problem is not what the doctors are saying, it's just an attack, what uh, realization did you had at that moment? I realized that God is amazing because he could detect things that we can't see. You know, so it's amazing. I felt gratitude in my heart to God, yeah. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I feel awesome. I feel great. I'm very, I'm very grateful for this. Thank you so much for this experience. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you today that you have received your deliverance? 
I believe God has blessed me. He has blessed me with everything and he wants the best for me. He wants me to prosper and thrive. That's why he could detect this attack while it, it, before it even manifests. Thank you. Sometimes you're failing to breathe. Huh? Yes. There's a spirit of asthma yes. that is trying to come to you. It's huh? Yes. So it's like in the middle of the night, sometimes it becomes very worse. Yes. Uh, as if you are trying to, to yes. bring air to yourself. Uh? Yes. God is healing you. Huh? Come out! Come out! You demon! Come out! In Jesus' name! Come out! Leave this chest, you demon! In Jesus' name, stand up. And God has forgiven you. I receive. Thank I don't you. receive. I'm saying God oh. has forgiven you. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Thank you know how you used to live your life in the past. Yes. Huh? Yes. So God has forgiven your past. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zimkita Mukwili. I'm coming from Ebony Park. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Okay. I was told that there is something in my chest that makes me in my chest that makes me struggle to breathe, especially at night. And then this thing happened when I started smoking, we were like smoking cigarettes and smoking weed, so it got worse. So, um, yeah, that's what happened today. So uh, they say today it's, it's, it's gonna, there's going to be breakthrough. So I can feel already that I usually have a pain that I have to press like this here, but now I can feel it's fading away. Yeah. And he said that this is an attack of asthma. Can you tell us when this uh, attack would come, how would you behave, how would you react? Usually when it comes, I have to go, go outside and get some air or maybe get something to, to help myself breathe properly, like um, a book or a paper that can help me get some air. So most of the time I have to go outside and get some fresh air. So that's how I noticed, but I've never been diagnosed with asthma or anything like that. Yeah. And now how are you feeling that the men of God located you and also prayed for you? I'm feeling so grateful. I'm feeling, as, as, as I said, I feel like I'm feeling better now. I can breathe better than I used to, like even when I got here in the morning. So it, like I said, I thought it was the cigarette and, or due to whatever that I'm smoking. So now I, I believe that I'm going to be better. I received the, the deliverance that I got today. Yeah. And what is it that you believe as you have received deliverance today? What is it that you believe God is going to do in your life? I believe God is going gonna, is gonna to help me with so many things that are going wrong in my life. And I think that I've been in a dark for so long because there was a time where I stopped believing in God and I was told that I have to go and and stuff like that. So now I believe that God has brought me into a light and I, my life is going to change for the better. Amen. Stand up. This issue of your job. Huh? Yes. The issue of the job is giving you serious problems. Are you ready? Okay. Let's pray that God must give you a new position. Amen. No? Huh? Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Let's pray for God to give you what? A new, a new position. position. Because I'm seeing where you're working, you people, there's a lot of competition. Yes. Huh? Yes, there there's is. a lot of hate and competition that is happening there, but God will fight for you. Amen. Come on. Where is your sister? My name is Sanela Mgomezul. I'm from Pachistrum. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, the prophecy that I've received is that uh, there is a problem at the workplace. Uh, there is a lot of uh, competition that is around there. Uh, it's because of the vacant positions that have been advertised. 
so there is a lot of confusion there yes and for how long has this been happening and how was it affecting you uh, it's been for quite a while and it's affecting me negatively because of I've realized that uh, people are, are having problems about this. Yes. And were you praying that God should intervene in this problem? Yes, I've been always praying about it. And uh, it is not for the first time I received this prophecy. Even Apostle Makanis have told me previously that the very same people that are oppressing me at the workplace, they are going to promote me. Yes. And now that you've, you are receiving this prophecy now again from Prophet Andres and also you received it from the Men of God Apostle, what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe that God will definitely do it for me. It is already done. You will promote me in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you try to build a shake? You? Hmm? Yes. Huh? Yes. In fact, we, we, we tried to borrow land. And then uh, we managed, but then because we never had enough finances, Let me pray it, it for fails. You. Let me pray for you. I mean, they just prayed for you that doors that God will open. Yes. Come on. Because every time. You people, you need to stand together. Yes. And you leave these disagreements. Yes. Are you hearing me? Mama? Yes. Are you hearing me? You need to stand together because of what devil is doing in the house. You, you leave these arguments that are there in the house. Yes. Huh? yes. That's how now God will be able to lift you people. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So uh, we have prayed for you. Stop these arguments. Yes. Because they are attacking you a lot. Oh, yeah. you hear me? When it's you true. sleep here, they bring food. Yes, yes, I drink huh? too much. They, every night they bring food you're yes. eating. Yes. Huh? Yes. Now, this is the problem now. Yes. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! My name is Alex Malungan, and uh, we are from Soweto. Uh, the man of God came to us prophesying to me that uh, I tried to erect a shack, and that was true. We tried, we actually purchased a small land for, uh, to build a house. So in fact, to make a shack, because we normally put a shack there as to occupy the space. So we did it, but then we managed to buy a land, but then to erect a shake incomplete or to complete a shake, it was impossible because of uh, financial constraint. So finally then, due to that, the land was taken by others then. So then we forfeit that land in that way. So what he said is true, and I believe that uh, it will lead us to a breakthrough. Yes. You must forgive your husband. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Because now you are pregnant now. Yes. You know what he used to do, huh? Yes, I huh? know. I know. You live in the house. Yes. Going yes. somewhere. That's the truth. Huh? Yes. Let's see if he's having someone somewhere. Yeah. Forgive him. Forgive him. Huh? Okay. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Forgive him because the plan is to destroy the marriage. Yes, I know. Oh, you know me? Yes. And now there are pains here. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. On the sides here. Come out! Come out, you demon! <laughs> so why do you want to destroy this house? Huh? Hmm? Shame. You are saying what? Shame. You are saying shame to me? Hmm? Are you saying shame to me or to her? I'm Kirsten, I'm really from Allendale View, Tembis. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? 
Yeah, the prophecy is is okay because everything the man of God is is the truth. Everything, because what was happening in my husband, like it was, I'm suspecting, maybe saving affair and going outside, and it was true, and it was making us to to fight always, even the the about the, 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 the pregnancy. I wasn't aware it was happened because I'm not happy at all because what is doing. Today I'm happy because men of God is confirm everything that is happening in my life. I believe I will be free today. And how was this affecting you? Yo, it was very bad because I was thinking if I can leave everything or separate, it will be better. So now I'm here because everything now is, I'm free, like I'm delivered. Amen. And I believe to him it will change. Yeah. And what other words of encouragement can you give to others that are watching? I can say for everyone, you can hold on God and pray the time it will come and then God will answer you. Whatever is difficult or whatever situation you meet, it will, it will be passed if you believe in God. Okay, thank you. I want to pray for you because what is happening to you, the devil is trying to bring you to this one. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. All these disappointments that devil has been bringing in your life. Huh? Yeah. And this pain near the back here. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear you, Prophet. So let's pray that this issue of sickness must be cancelled in your house. Amen. Because now the issue of the problem of the husband is, is destroying you. Amen. Huh? Yes. So you must tell him, what is it? He's around. Well, I'm... God will fight for you. Thank you. They will try everything, TV, whatever that they're trying, but the living God will fight for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Yes. Whoever that is trying to take you down will go down for your sake. Amen. And I want to pray for you. There's a promotion that God will bring. Amen. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. And there's a new partner. My name is Pindile Magoro. I'm living in Johannesburg. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? We received the prophecy from Prophet Andres about the devil attacking our household, that the sickness in the house, we are all sick, including the children. I confirm the prophecy to be true. And for how long has this been happening and how was it affecting you? No, it's just a recent thing. It's like... We thought maybe it's winter, we've got flu and colds, but it's something that is persistent, including the children as well. And were you praying for God's intervention concerning this problem? Yes, we do, and then we're hoping that somehow God will locate us, because we've been to the doctors, and then it's like it's a week after the other. If it's not me, then... And the man of God told you about this problem. How did you feel? We were very excited that God finally has heard our prayers and has located us and then our matter will be settled. Papa, can you also confirm to us and also tell us what you are believing God is going to do for you now? Greetings in the name of Jesus. Just to confirm the prophecy we received this today. Firstly, I would like to emphasize the point that we are indeed serving a living God and I can confirm that my wife and I, for us to be alive today, is because of the grace from God. We are going through a lot of battles, but we know indeed God is with us and nobody is going to destroy us. And we will forever, you know, believe in Him and Him alone. Amen. My brother, this, huh? I, I'm, just, I'm just hearing this quaila. Yes. Huh? Squire. Squire. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a, a girl who was I don't know who was born in February. It's me. 
February. Yes. Oh, that's another one. Oh, Malodi. Who was born also in February? Is not a girl also? Yeah, it's a girl. Huh? It's a girl. There's a girl who was also born in February. Sonti. Huh? Yes. Is what? Sonti. Is it seventh? Is it seven? Mm. Huh? Yes. Seven February. Huh? Yes. Let's see. What you have done, you've broken the case of the family. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Amen. I don't want to say it here. I mean, what you have done. Because, you know, you know what? You people, to be honest with you, in your family, they are very strong witches. And these witches, they are making themselves Christians. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So you've broken that barrier. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You're free. Hi, my name is Samuel. I'm coming from Pretoria. Uh, that prophecy I received today, that is true. The family of Squaila and Rasurte, now we are, we are the big family now. And how is this affecting you? No, I'm very happy because uh, I'm happy because now everything will be alright. Yes. And were you praying that God should intervene in this challenge? Uh, I know God will help me. Uh, as a, as as I'm preparing for my, my wedding, yeah, then I know God will help me. How are you feeling now? I'm happy. I'm happy. Amen. Amen. My sister, this yeah, stand up, touch your stomach. These people are feeding you also, huh? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. And I'm seeing you seeing different faces of people. Huh? Pardon? I'm seeing you seeing different faces of people. Yes. Huh? Yes. Come out! Come out, you demon! <sighs> you must pray. Stand up. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Bonisile. I live in Tumbes. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? The prophet said that they are feeding me at night when I'm sleeping and I see different faces uh, of people when I'm asleep. Uh, I confirm it to be true. And for how long has this been happening? Uh, it's been months now. Like it, It's happening almost every night. And how was it affecting your life? Uh, most of the time nowadays since it started, I'm always sick. And were you praying that God should intervene in this problem? Yes, especially today I've been praying that God must just intervene so that this problem can stop. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? Uh, I was feeling hot in my stomach, but I believe I'm delivered. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? Uh, I believe that breakthrough will come in my life. Mm. Pray for, for your breast. Huh? Pray for your breast. The devil is attacking you as if this is like a cancer. Come out! Come out! You're right. You're blessed. My name is Nancy Gama. I'm coming from Pomalanga, Delmas. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy that the prophet gave you to me today, he told me that I have the problem on my breast. But it's the thing that I was not aware of because I was just feeling the pain on my body, not knowing what's happening. But what I know is that when the prophet is already said, ne, it's go, God is already cancelling it, that means I'm going to be healed in Jesus' name. And how were these pains affecting you? How are the pains affecting you? Mostly it's a headache that it was too much. Then some other time I just feel the heavy on my breast. 
and now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? Mm, now I'm feeling okay. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? What I know that God is going to do for me is just Charis Missionary Church is the place of God and God is, is already healed me in Jesus' name.